In today's video, we're searching for some of the best ghost rares of all time. A little follow up to a recent video, The Duelist Genesis. What's up, guys? We are back for more old school special edition openings. We have Duelist Genesis, we have Stardust Overdrive, and then we have several ancient prophecies. So we have a lot to open up today. And the reason we're doing another ghost rare opening, just like we did just a few days ago, if you guys missed that one, go check it out. It's a pretty good opening. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Guys, I am hitting 15,000 Whatnot followers coming up this week. And because that is an awesome milestone on Whatnot, I decided we do something crazy. We're going to be opening 24 packs of the Duelist Genesis live on Whatnot this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. And if you don't know the significance of first set Duelist Genesis, they cannot be pulled out of booster boxes, at least in the USA. I know there's some weird stuff going on in Europe, but in the USA, there's no first edition packs unless you get them from tins or pre-release packs. And these packs came out all the way back in 2008, so they're really, really hard to find now. And if you do get lucky and pull that Ghost Rare Stardust and get a PSA 10 on it, you might have a $20,000 card. So if that sounds like a fun opening to you, make sure you check out Whatnot down below. And oh wait, did I forget to mention something? We're giving away a Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon in the live stream. This card right here could be one of yours. All you have to do is go follow me down below, get your $15 free credit if you are a new user, and then show up at the stream at 5 p.m. Central on Thursday, where I will be giving it away to one random viewer. You don't have to buy anything to win that card. There will also be another nine giveaways that you could potentially win, so keep an eye out for those. Make sure you go follow down below. This is going to be one of our best streams ever. If we pull that Ghost Rare Stardust, maybe one of my best pulls ever. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. 24 first edition packs of Duelist Genesis. So you're gonna get a little taste today with a couple special editions of Unlimited. Then tonight at 5 p.m. Central, we'll be opening up all of these. You guys can have a chance to get them. They will be live at auction. So one of you guys could pull the first edition Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon and hopefully it'll get a PSA 10 and be like 20K. So that would be absolutely insane. I've never pulled it on my channel, not Unlimited, not First Ed. So Whatnot tonight's gonna be crazy. 5 p.m. Central, I wanna see you guys there. Oh, and did I mention, we're also giving away the Stardust Ghost Rare on the stream tonight to one of you guys in the stream. International viewers are also eligible, so don't worry guys, you guys have a chance to win it. It's gonna be insane tonight. Now for today's giveaway, we're giving away some Retro Pack Super Rares. Everybody loves Retro Pack, super fun. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below, will we pull a Ghost Rare tonight, and will we pull a Ghost Rare during today's video? All right, let's stop messing around. We are opening for a lot of ghosts today. I hope we get at least one at some point. So, uh, because we have two of each of these and then we have mostly ancient prophecy because i had several ancient prophecy that we're going to open let's start with the ancient prophecy and save those other ones for a little bit later it's going to be insane there are so many epic videos that have come out recently and are coming out so hopefully you guys are enjoying it also the mega tens are coming up in just like a week or two so if you guys haven't pre-ordered your mega tens go check it out down below get five percent off using my code and uh check out sassy out affiliate link that uh supports me as well so Go check that out. Red Eyes Wyvern. and hopefully we get a lot of these today. Let's see how much money we could make out of this opening. We probably have about $600 in cost today, so we're probably not breaking even, but that's a good start. So we're going to show on the screen $600 cost. We'll try to make our way back to zero and break even. But if we do that, we're going to have to pull like three Ghost Rares. So I'd be, I'd be down for that, though. But I decided to do a little bit of a special video today. Usually on Whatnot stream days, I like to open some old school stuff because we're opening a lot of old school stuff on Whatnot, so it kind of connects pretty well. All right, started off with the Ancient Prophet. Obviously, we've already gotten like a six to eight dollar super rare, which is very beautiful. I don't know if I think I need to do the flippity flip. I didn't do it. Rux and special arm sea hunter, psychic soul, shark cruiser at one with a sword, fortune lady and spirit burner. So it looks like uh, I did need. Oh, I don't actually know yet, but we did not get proven wrong to have not done the flippity flip, but I'm pretty sure we need to. So we'll do it this time. Three from the back. Flippity flop, floppity flip. Heart of the cards. Give us a hit. That's the new one that was suggested in the comments. So shout out to that. Pretty good. Sword of Sparkles. We have, oh man, these are really easy to rucks and special. Um, we have the Fortune Lady and Cyborg Doctor. Not bad. Last pack magic. Ancient Prophecy. Here we go. A little bit of Joker action. One, two, three. Flippity flop, floppity flip, part of the cards. Give us a ghost rare. Okay, Blackwing, release for shame, wave, ancient crimson ape, iron core lust with a hydro pressure cannon, silverwing, lugia, jester, lord, and a core compression. Okay, a little quacky miru card. Not bad. Where are my sleeves? They're behind all these special editions. We're gonna need a lot of sleeves today, okay? I'm just gonna I'm gonna put that out into the universe. I should sleeve the wyvern. That's probably a much better card. That is just going straight into my Edison box, the wyvern. So technically, we're not making our money back on those. 
I will have those probably until they get reprinted and they're like 30 cents. I should sell them now. If I was smart, I would sell them now. Just wait till they're 30 cents because they're reprinting everything. I like the original version though. It looks cool. I'm assuming that Wyvern has a like a jump print or something. Was it originally from like a jump magazine? Because stuff doesn't usually come out first as a special edition promo. So I'm assuming it was some sort of magazine promo or something. I actually don't know that. I almost always know the original print of everything. So it's interesting. It's interesting to not know something every once in a while when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, other stuff, I know nothing. So <laughs> I, I'm used to that, but uh, okay, Red Eyes Wyvern again. I'm, re I'm used to not knowing stuff in other spectrums besides sports and Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, Red Eyes Wyvern, sleeve that up. Let's get a play set today. We have several more special editions of Ancient Prophecy, so we should have a good chance. The best promo honestly is in the Ancient Prophecy, so it's kind of not bad to have a lot of those. Plus, there's a potential at, you know, the Gaia Plate. I know you guys love that card. The Ghost Rare, Ancient Fairy Dragon. The Ulti Ancient Fairy Dragon. There's a lot of good ones. Sunny Pixie. Kawagimir Hydra Bear, Sunlight Unicorn. Divine Dragon, Armored Axon Kicker, Battle of the Elements, Imperial Custom, Pseudo Space. Oh, and a Secret Rare, Kasha. This one was, was this not a, a Duel Links card in the... Uh, Sacred Phoenix deck for a while. I feel like it was. Maybe I'm thinking of something else because this is like about zombies. Maybe it was in the zombie deck. How does it gain attack? Return. Okay, yeah, I don't remember that. I don't think that. I think I was wrong about that. I think I'm thinking of something else. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. One, two, three. Flippity flop, floppity flip. Upside down cards. What in the world? Okay. Let's hope that means Ghost Rider. We have a release restraint wave. Fairy Wind. Spirit Burner. Battle of the Elements. Ragaguda. Genetic Woman, Black Ring Mistle, the Silver Shield, Psychic Emperor. Oh, man. Synchro. This, I think, is like a $6 card in Unlimited, so it's pretty solid, ultra rare. That'd be a nice ulti. That one is like 30, 40 bucks, I think, even Unlim. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't Ancient Fairy, but it's still a good card. It's still a good card. We're inching our way closer from 600 to zero. I'm trying to get back to that, you know, make our money back. Don't need to worry about shipping or, you know, any of that, any of the costs I have shipping and just ignore that. Don't even think about that because then you're gonna get really depressed when you see we have uh, made zero progress. Dark Sea Float, we have Silverwing Lugia, Battle of the Elements, Ragaguda, Genetic Woman, Sunlight Unicorn, Fulham Knight, nice card, but I don't think it's worth anything. And Discord! Speaking of Discord, everybody, go join the Discord. We have a Discord link down below. You guys can get in there. You guys can chat about Yu-Gi-Oh! You can chat about Pokemon. You can chat about Old School RuneScape. Whatever you want to chat about. Pokemon Go. Go down to the Discord and check it out. We're almost at 2k members. We're trickling our way up, so pretty epic. Okay, let's switch it up. Let's go to a Stardust Overdrive and see what we can pull. Can we get... I don't remember what the promos are. They are... Okay, Charge of the Light Brigade is probably the best one. Tempest Magician apparently is not horrible either. I think I think it's an Edison card in like certain decks. Here we go. Tag Force coming to November 2009. Wow. Coming soon, guys. Uh, we have the Charger Light Brigade. We're getting really good pulls when it comes to the promos. And then let's hope to pull something. Give me. They, they mispackaged this thing, I think. There's two of those. Misprint Special Edition. Just saying. All right, three Stardust Overdrive. Here we go. Preparing for tonight. So far, it's been a pretty good opening. Pretty good. If we saved the Ghost Rare for tonight, I would not be mad. I would not be mad. Though, I would not be mad either if we pulled it now. I mean, uh, pulling something cool. We have Quick Draw. Okay, I think this... Is this a set that has the uh, Gemini Spark, which I was missing? Like, I was not... Yeah, Ge I think it is, because Gemini Counter. Is Gemini Counter an Edison card? I'm going to pull it out just in case. I have at least one play set. I doubt it is, but I know Gemini Spark is, like, crazy good. And I somehow have just never even, like... When we're open doing these openings, I just skip over it every time. Someone in the comments reminded me, Hey, Gemini Spark, like, that's an Edison card. Oh, yeah. Really good card for that elemental, or that Neos, not elemental hero, but more of an elemental hero, Neos alias, Gemini Spark deck. Very good card. Swap Frog, also a great Edison card. Just so many good ones we can pull out. Stardust, Zhenglong, and a Quacky Mirror Beetle. We'll take a super rare. Not bad at all. We are pulling a lot of decent cards. I don't know if value is there, but they are good cards. All right, still a lot of packs to open today because we are doing, uh, not six, 11 special editions. I mean, I, I could have slowed it down. I was like, you know what, guys, we're going all in today. We're opening a bunch of special editions just for fun. Get pumped for tonight. Bending Destiny, Enlightenment, Relinquish Spider, Reptilian Silas, Synchro Barrier, Dark Rabbit, Pegasus. And a Silver Wind, the Ascendant. This is actually a money card, I think. The ulti is, I don't remember if it's just the ulti's big money, but I think maybe both of them are. Silver Wind, the Ascendant, I believe is Edison, is why it's expensive. One tuner and two or more non-tuners. I'm guessing it's used in the Blackwing deck. 
I mean, it's a black wing, so it makes sense. I think that's our best pull yet. Okay, back to Ancient Prophecy. Then we're going to do our first Duelist Genesis of the day. So I'm hoping that that'll bring us some luck. I Look, it would be an amazing day to pull the first ever Stardust Dragon on the channel, Ghost Rare, and then tonight pull the first edition. I mean, how cool would that be? Two in one day. Let's see. We have another... Oh, a Solar Recharge. That's really good. Oh, wait, that they're both good, but the Wyvern's definitely better because Solar Recharge just got the reprint in the Light of Destruction 2020 reprint. 2020 date reprint is what uh, TCG calls it, so I guess that's a fine way to do it. It's technically a 2024 reprint because it was this year, but the date will be easier to follow in years to come. One, two, three, flippity flop, floppity flip. Can we keep getting pulls? Here we go. Iron Core Luster, Major Upset, Morphtronic Magnum Bar, Depth Amulet, Advanced Draw, Sword of Sparkles, Quaggy Mirror Speeder. And a fairy wind, starting us off with a dud in this special edition. Ancient Prophecy, will you turn this around, baby? One, two, three. Flippity flop, let's do that. I, I feel like I need to be quiet because I just recorded a, uh, a Meiju video in the library. You're going to see that very soon. Um, I, I've, I've decided we needed to go. We needed to try everything. So you guys will see that one, I think, in probably two days. So keep an eye out for that Magia video upcoming. I know you guys like those. We went all in. I bought it or not. I bought I brought a bunch of a bunch of packs. Let's just say that to the library and went pretty crazy. So kind of a, probably going to be a pretty long video. So keep an eye out for that on Saturday. Darcy Rescue and Shiny Black Seed. That was a terrible special edition. We got the worst promo and no foils. Not great. We were saving it all for this. The Duelist Genesis. Here we go. Let's get this thing open. Pop this sucker open. Uh, promos, neither of them are that good. They're both Edison, I think. Well, actually, is Eradicator? Do people use Eradicator? Um, that's just currently a good card. Okay, this is... I hate when it won't rip down the seam. There we go. All right. All right, promo. Okay, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, I think, is like $1.50 maybe, maybe 2 bucks. So not bad. Okay, three packs of the Duelist Genesis. Here we go. See if we can pull something good out of here. Can one, two, three, four. We pull something amazing. We have Psychic Commander, Lightsworn Barrier, Destructotron, Mirror of Yada, Battletune. Wait, what did I, what pack trick did I just do? I just did four from the back. I think I messed that up, but there was nothing in there. So nothing to worry about. Don't freak out guys. Two more packs. Can we pull something epic? Recycling batteries, who remembers that? Trying to pull this thing in the past. Recycling batteries, I think we did the flippity flop. Could be wrong though, we have Dark the Dark Charmer, it used to be money. Remote Revenge, Recycling Batteries, Telekinetic Shocker, Mind Protector, oh, I did do it wrong. The Magical Android along with Noah's Ark. This card is literally like 25 bucks for an unlimited super rare. Yeah, it's getting a reprint soon. I will be shocked if it doesn't, but I, I kind of hope it doesn't because then I can pull a $25 card when I'm opening Duelist Genesis. That's kind of nice. Okay, sick card. Last pack of this special edition. That is probably the biggest card we pulled unless Silverwind gets over 25. I think it could be 30 on Silverwind, but that could be the ulti I'm thinking of. Sometimes I get those confused. Okay, three from the back should work then. It looks like that was the incorrect pack trick. Beast, we have Genis, or Yusaka, Twin Shield, Psychic Snail, Domino Effect, Ganogo, Cold Enchanter, Psy Impulse. Okay, so just a super, but it was the best super you can pull. Still six more special editions, guys. We're not even halfway through. I got to pick it up a little bit. We're going to be here all day. And we can't be here all day because, you know, tonight we got to, you know, be somewhere else. Open another pack. Why is this not? This is what in the world? These are so, like, stretchy. I do not have the uh, finger dexterity for this. Okay, give us another Wyvern, please. That would be nice. Wyvern time. No, slow recharge. Not bad, but... Uh, not definitely not Wyvern. Wyvern's really good. So, so far we've probably made back, there's a chance we've made back like 75 bucks, which is pretty solid. Uh, I mean for 600, it's not great, but in terms of just getting anything back in general is always nice. So hopefully we can continue that, get a nice ulti or ghost. We have not gotten an ulti or a ghost and we're still pulling like value. So that's really nice. Soon at some point that will not be happening in these sets because everything will be reprinted and they we just won't be able to do it. But hopefully... Not too soon, so we can still enjoy opening these a little bit. Shiny Black Sea. Okay, nothing there. Can we get something? Last one was a dud. Hopefully this one will not be a dud either. We have Armed Sea Hunter, Psychic Soul, Shark Cruiser, Infernity Beast, Pixie Ring, Sunny Pixie, a lot of Pixies, Fossil Dig, Flame of Fire Dog. That's, is that an Edison card? It might be. 
turbo cannon. Every time this one gets you, you're like, ooh, synchro, and that's zero, zero. You're like, what is this thing? Turbo cannon, it's a super rare. I think it has a couple dollar value. Oh, maybe not. It actually might be like 10 cents, now that I think about it. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I feel like I always think, oh, it's a weird super out of an old set. It's probably going to be 10 bucks, like randomly, and then it's like 10 cents, which is probably the case. So a couple synchros have scared us so far. Hopefully, we can turn this around. A major upset. Blackwing Bane, Steel Chain, first one of those. Uh, rekindling, Sword of Sparkles, Fulham Knight, and Morphtronic Magnan Bar. Okay, we got to do one more uh, Ancient Prophecy, then we'll be alternating from here on out between Ancient Prophecy and either uh, Stardust Overdrive or the Duelist Genesis. Okay, give us a Wyvern, please. Wyvern time right here. Wyvern it up. Man, three solar recharge in a row. That's brutal. So I got two more. I want to get at least a playset. It'd be nice to get two in a row, but playset would be great as well. Three packs. Here we go. Give us the ghost rare. One, two, three. Flippity flop, floppity flip. We've got Sunny Pixie, Core Blaster Workout, Advanced Draw, Flam Bell Counter, Arm Sea Hunter, Water Hazard. Can't get it. Shiny Black Sea, Fortune Lady, and X Saber Regagura. Nothing there. Two more packs. Slowing down on Ancient Prophecy for sure. Slowing down. Let's see if we can keep that from happening. Let's let's get a little speed up action going. Ancient Draw. Blackwing Bane. Steel Chain. Very nice. Pixie Ring. Water Hazard. Ancient Leaf. Armored Axon Kicker. Depth Amulet. Curry Bomb. And Brain Research Lab. Last pack. Magic for the Ancient Prophecy. Give us a prophecy that will be fulfilled. The prophecy of the ghost rare. Stardust Dragon, and then the, before that part, the you know, number one part of that was playing the Ancient Fairy Dragon Ghost Rare. Uh, Flamvel, we have Cyborg Doctor, Brain Research, Infernity Beast, Arcane Eye Joker, and Battle Teleportation. That was not a great special edition either. Back to our last Stardust Overdrive Special Edition. If you guys have enjoyed this video, let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because almost at 250, like crazy close to 250. We'll be opening all these sets again and more. Don't you worry, guys. Every single pack will be open. There will be other amazing sets like Magician's Force. So do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com. Oh, I tried to library gate. Oh, yeah, this is I was thinking of uh, Wyvern. It's not in there. Ruxin34.com has many amazing, awesome old school things that you guys can buy. Go check it out. Link in the description. Don't forget to pre-order your Megatons as well. And check out the stream at five tonight. Of course, there's many things that we need to talk about. But now we are back to the opening. Here we go. Oh, did that wrong. I don't know what I just did. This is going to be crazy. I don't, this is completely wrong. Quick draw. Roar of the Earthbound. Relinquish Spider. Level Eater. Spider Egg. Fortune Lady Water. Okay. I was like, I don't know. Time Passage. A little Time Wizard action. Two more packs of Stardust over drive here we go one two three flippity flop floppity flip heart of the cards give us a hit i'm messing up all the pack tricks ritual of grace we have medusa dying passage ritual blast or buster i should say limit impulse spider spider tomb palace and knight of the red lotus this is a like six dollar card last i checked a very solid gemini card it, this is indeed an edison card as well you basically are looking for edison that is what will carry the value in these older packs, 5Ds era. Last pack magic for Stardust Overdrive. So three more special editions after this. So it's not last pack magic overall. Don't you worry. We're gonna get a hundred bucks back total, I believe. We have uh, Acheleon, Gemini Booster. We have Energy Bravery, Necromancer, Attack Pheromones, Woodland Archer, Toon Magician, Shine Palace, Preparation of Rights. Another nice card, but this has seen a lot of reprints since the original print. So that one's not gonna be too valuable. Back to Ancient Prophecy, which has been a little bit lackluster recently. It started off decent. Since then, it's been slacking a little bit. All right, we have the... Oh, yes. Okay, Red Eyes Wyvern. That's a play set. Very nice. I feel good about that. Three packs. So nine total packs left. Six of them Ancient Prophecy. Three of them the Duelist Genesis. Still two promos to reveal. A lot of potential in here that we could pull. Let's turn this thing around upside down. Maybe that'll be good. Dark Sea Float. I can't remember if it was good last time. We're trying Magnum Bar, Water Hazard. Arm Sea Hunter, Divine Dragon, Slip of Fortune. Solidarity used to be a money card. I don't think it is anymore. Oh, and an ultimate rare, Earthbound Immortal. The Kusal Kusalu, Kusalu. Sounds like I'm cussing when I say these names. I'm not going to lie. So that's a nice pull. Our first ultimate rare of the day. 
here's our total back. I feel like we might be under $500 minus at least. Might be minus 490 now, who knows? I don't know if we got there or not, but we might still, you know, we started at minus 600, so not bad. One, two, three, let's see if we can turn this thing around and keep it going. Core Blaster workout time. Oh, I saw a little preview of the faint steel chain. Very nice, RMC Hunter. Shark Cruiser, Sunny Pixie, Falcon B, and at one with the sword. Last pack of this special edition. We only have two left. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel. For more content, we will be opening packs. You guys know how we roll. I, did I mess this up? Because I feel like the upside down card was usually not in the flippity flop, but maybe I maybe I messed it up. Core Blaster workout time. Fossil Dig, Ancient Crimson Ape, Depth, Amulet, Jester Lord. Genetic Woman. Okay, I might have messed it up, but who knows? We didn't pull anything. Okay, I thought we were going to alternate, but I did it. I think I did it wrong because we got to do Duelist Genesis last. So we'll do this last Ancient Prophecy. Then we'll do the last special edition overall, which is the Duelist Genesis number two. Let's see if we can get one more Wyvern that's been carrying us so far. No, Solar Recharge. Okay, that's unfortunate, but we got a place at a Wyvern. I cannot complain. I need to make that deck with Wyvern. Now that I, I mean, I think I have, I have a lot more than I thought. Last time when I was grabbing them, I thought I only had like one or two, but I had three already and I ended up with like, so now I have like five maybe or six. I can't remember how many we pulled. And now we have three more. So we might have almost three play sets, which is very good for the Edison box. I like to have a lot of copies. Fossil Dig. The sad part about the Edison box is I'm sitting on all these cards, you know, for just putting that together. And then eventually they're all going to get reprinted. And it's just going to like cost me a lot of money in theory that I could have sold. And it just kind of hurts. But it's like at the same time, I just want to have all those cards. It's just a bummer that they're eventually going to all go to zero, you know? with the reprints one two three because it's nice to have like you know a bunch of eight dollar cards that's pretty cool but having a bunch of 10 cent cards is a little annoying but i mean that way i won't even feel guilty about leaving them in there but uh oh quacky mirror gulungulate okay but it is still a little sad because you know it, it would have been cool to have a nice collection of they're all worth a little bit last ancient prophecy pack guys then we move on to Duelist Genesis. One, two, three. Last pack magic. And don't worry, this is not our last uh, Duelist Genesis tonight either, or these next three, because we have the first edition to be opened at 5 p.m. Central and whatnot. So do not miss it. Get your, oh, Crusader. Super rare. Get your uh, $15 free credit if you're a new user and haven't been over that, over to whatnot yet. Because, you know, if you're going to want to buy something, whether it be a booster pack or something on the buy it now or whatever, uh, that $15 free credit, you know, you can get it and you can maybe get something that's less than 15 and just get it for free, basically. Okay, last special edition. That's a nice card. We've gotten pretty good promos for the most part. We ended up getting four solar recharge, which kind of sucked because it started off two for two and then we went one for five the rest of the way. Okay, three packs left. The Duelist Genesis. Can we pull a ghost rare right here? One, two, three. Flip, oh no, no flippity flop, no flippity flop on the uh, Duelist Genesis. Can we pull Charger Light Brigade, Stardust Dragon, something amazing, Ghost Garden, we have Yamana, Yamato no Kami, and Mirror of Yada. Okay, two more packs. Gotta believe. In the last two pack magic, guys. Even if we don't pull it here, this is not the end for today. Make sure you come out to tonight's stream. It's gonna be crazy. Oyster Meister, Psychic Snail, Judgment of Thunder, Recycling Batteries, Quill Bolt Hedgehog, Fitting Shield, and Twin Barrel Dragon, it's a super rare, cool card. Cool card, definitely a Duel Links card plus the uh, Lux skill. So it's like an automatic pop when it was summoned. It was pretty strong. Last pack magic, guys. Hit that subscribe button. 250K is coming up. Send me some luck in the chat slash comments right now. Here we go. Duelist Genesis, one more chance at the Stardust for this video. Let's see if we can do it. Dr. Cranium, Silent Strider, Lightwave, Kanoichi. Telepathic Graceful Revival, and our last card of the day is Fist Fish Depth Charge. Okay, I'm struggling. I cannot speak. All right, guys. Want to see you there tonight at 5 p.m. Central? It's going to be epic. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.